Hello friends, welcome to another video of Zeta Axis and today we are going to discuss about Tekken Traps. Now Tekken Traps are the most distinctive features of Peninsular Plateau and they have volcanic origin. The Tekken Traps form part of Deccan Plateau where the Deccan Plateau is part of Peninsular Plateau located south of Narmada and Tapti River. The Deccan Plateau is a loose classification which includes all plateaus lying between Satpura Mountains, Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats. The Deccan Traps are a special geological formation within Deccan Plateau. The Deccan Traps is a large igneous province in West Central India and it is one of the largest volcanic features on earth. The Deccan Traps mainly cover whole of Maharashtra. In the north, the Deccan Traps extend till Malwa Plateau which is located north of Vindhya's mountains in Madhya Pradesh. In the east, Deccan traps extend till Amarkantak and Jabalpur, while in the west, the Deccan traps extend till Saurashtra and Kutch of Gujarat, while in the south, the Deccan traps extend till Goa. The Deccan traps region can be further divided into four parts, which is the main Deccan region, the Malwa Plateau, the Mandala Lobe, and the Saurashtrian Plateau. Now let's see how Deccan traps were formed. The Deccan traps were formed around 66 to 65 million years ago when Indian Peninsular Plate after being separated from Gondwana land moved into northern direction. The Indian Plate moved over Reunion Hotspot. Remember, the hotspot is a region where hot plumes of magma from deeper parts of the mantle rise upwards and reach the surface to form volcanoes. The lava erupted from hotspots have basaltic composition. Basaltic lava is very fluid which means that it can flow very easily. There is very less friction between different layers. Therefore, lava emitted from hotspot is able to flow for large distance and cover broad areas. Moreover, the volcanoes formed by hotspots are fissure or sealed volcanoes which have very gentle slope and the lava flows smoothly without any blasts. So the Indian plate moved over the reunion hotspot and the reunion hotspot became active. Large quantity of basaltic lava was emitted from the reunion hotspot over the Indian plate from the fissure volcanoes formed by the hotspot. The center point of these eruptions were Western Ghats near Mumbai. These eruptions continued for almost 30,000 years and the lava flows are considered to have spread over an area of 1.5 million square kilometer which is roughly half the area of India. With time, the lava rocks got eroded and now the area covered by Deccan traps is roughly 500,000 square kilometers or 5 lakh square kilometers. The eruption of Deccan traps was so large that the amount of sulfur emitted in atmosphere is assumed to have reduced global temperature by 1 to 2 degrees Celsius and it is believed to have contributed in the extinction of dinosaurs. The lava which was emitted from these fissure volcanoes gradually solidified with time. But because the eruptions continued for 30,000 years, numerous layers of lava rocks were formed one over another. Therefore, the Deccan traps consist of numerous layers of solidified flood basaltic rock layers which together have a thickness of approximately 2000 meters. These solidified lava rocks look like staircases. In geology, such rock formation are called traps where the word traps is derived from Swedish word trap meaning step like structure. So these step like structure formed by solidified rocks is called lava traps and therefore the region is called Deccan lava traps or Deccan traps meaning Deccan lava stairs. The Deccan traps region mainly have black soil because the erosion of solidified lava traps creates black soil. I hope you liked our short video on Deccan traps and if you have enjoyed the video please share it with your friends and we have made a number of videos on UPSC which you can watch. If you like what we are doing, you, you can use the QR code as well as the UPI ID over here to support us. Thanks for watching the video.